Hello, welcome to Draves Archery, DravesArchery.com. Uh, I'm setting up a hunting bow, my MR6 for the year. Uh, finally getting around to it. It's an 80 pound, 29 and a half inch draw. And uh, first of all, I'm gonna put this arrow rest on it and then probably tune it. Um, I got the draw link module set, um, which I did real simply in a different video. I'm gonna be shooting the uh, QAD HDX. I'm gonna put a red one on there just cause I think it's gonna look cool. But first of all, I went ahead and pulled out the uh, camouflage camo cord, the down cord, and I am going to put in a red one. So uh, it's not the easiest process, but bear with me here. First of all, you gotta remove this screw completely. Uh, depending on what kind of cable you run, I'm running BCY D loop material. It's uh, I'm just picky and make sure stuff looks good. Um, so anyways, we're going to have to come in this b back hole and shove it through. The nice thing about these HDXs, well, there's several nice things, but A, they w do drop in time, even on 80 pounds, a 29 and a half inch draw, and I'll probably be shooting uh, uh, Blue Streak out of it, Carbon Express. The main thing is here is to get this thing as small as possible, which I got it through there. That hole is snug. And um, so before I pull it all the way through, I'm going to go ahead and melt the back side of it. So it will not pull completely through and all my hard gracious work is not wasted. Got that. Now. I'm going to go ahead and put on the felt that comes with it. Um, I did go ahead and wipe it down with some alcohol or 222 first to make sure that it dries and try not to touch it if you can help it. The top one's kind of immaterial, but I'm still putting it on there. And then the bottom one, this is the most important one. And this HDX can be purchased on our website. If you find a, think you can find a better price or a better deal, get a hold of us. We'll match it. We'll beat it. Got all the colors typically in stock. Get that bottom where it's in there where you want it. These tops should come about to the top. Wrap the bottom around first, and put it on. Okay, now there is a little set screw that goes in here. This is an anchor screw. Um, we'll just get it started in there. Need to put the screw back inside of here. We're going to not tighten it all the way but we're going to put it in there close we want this to be able to slide and that's important because once we go to pull this bow back to set it as far as the tension and when that rest pulls back to its full draw it is uh that's good okay it'll be the end that's tied to my uh tied to my down cable and I'll show you the most effective best way I have discovered to do these get a nice rounded top you can see that knot is not going to come undone just like my D loops they never come undone all this stuff um, this you may need if you're on a different bow like a Hoyt this is a wrench to adjust, make the right and left adjustments. And then there's a bolt in the washer. Real simple, we just I always put them up really tight against the bow. Uh, a, that allows it never to move. And B, that's going to give your most forgiveness because it's dead above your hand if we extend it all the way back if we torque our bow a little bit that will magnify it so the overdraw days are kind of over with and uh, we get that nice and snug 
tighten up this anchor screw which I had it almost ready to go okay so now we got my rest bolted on we got it anchored in tight uh, you can see it's nice and tight up against here um, we're gonna attach this down cable I don't have that screw in tight yet so this is how I do the down cable a lot of people like to put them through the string I think that's a bad idea the reason I think that's a bad idea is because you ever go to tune your bow add a couple twists in one cable over the other then all of a sudden this guy's twisted up along inside your cable and it's just not a good idea so I'm going to put like a D loop knot in it and I'm gonna have it where it pulls up so basically we're gonna go over over under and then back through it's gonna look just like that okay and then we're gonna slide this just below the serving and that serving once I get this guy pulled tight that serving will keep that from sliding up this knot is slide up hit that serving as long as you got your knot tied right and you got it pulled tight and it'll slide up and it'll stop so I'm just going to pull that nice and snug with my hand. You can grab a hold of a pair of pliers, pull it tighter if you want. Okay, and we pull the slack out. Whenever I pull the bow back, it will set itself and stop where it needs to, and then I'll anchor in that screw. So I got that. Um, real quick, I'm going to eyeball up square. We can see we're running downhill significantly, which is fine. We're going to get it close. Now the reason this matters to a certain point prior to uh, setting this down cable is we're close there. I'll paper tune it out the rest of the way pretty much is because uh, the, once we lower this thing down enough your cable will get shorter because this whole rest piece is moving down or longer. So eventually it's going to start pulling back too soon or not soon enough so get it close up and down to start with and um, close right and left to start with because there again that can change it not as much I'm just going to real quick show you how to if we lay another arrow on here you can see we're running out significantly we lay the other arrow tight up against the riser and we just want to run them parallel for a starter point and Whoop, make sure you're not shoving them against your finger. That's close. I'll tune it out the rest of the way. And you can even lay an arrow on that bottom. You can see I'm still running downhill quite a bit. Um, raise this up some more. Now, if you're setting this thing on your leg and putting much pressure on it, that can make that cam flex. You wouldn't think so a whole lot, but we're pretty close I paper tune everything I'm definitely gonna be paper tuning my bow so I'm gonna get it the rest of the way square there also you can tell how I tie my D loops I tie the knot since you naturally twist your release towards you I tie this knot where it comes off the string on this side and this one where it comes off the string on that side so that it's more natural and we're balanced out when we're pulling on the string it's not both pulling on one side so I'm gonna go ahead and put on my release I think this guy maxed, this bow maxed out at uh, 82, 83 pounds. And we'll just lift that up. Okay. So now that cable set itself. I'm going to go in just the lightest little hair, maybe a, a millimeter. Then I'm going to anchor this screw down. Nice thing about the HDX and the HDs are that you can always readjust that string length if you need to. You want that to pull back though the last inch of your power stroke um, to an inch and a half. Pulling back too soon, you're going to get a low left hair. It's not pulling back soon enough. The arrow's going to hit it and smack it down, tear up fletchings, and make a, make a loud noise. So. And there's two little marks here, so if you watch this now when I pull it back. It's pulling back right at the end. 
Okay, now I need to put on my kisser button and then I'm probably going to go back and tune it and put on my sight and quiver here later on. So um, I got this thing laying here. Definitely got to have a comfort kiss kisser button. Just something to open it up, an ink pen, anything simple. And always put these clips the opposite way of the slit so they're not both facing the openings aren't facing the same way you really need to try to use some rounded pliers of course I use knocking pliers um, I'm gonna snug it up the rounded pliers a lot of electrical pliers will work maybe even somebody's got some fishing pliers that are rounded but I'm just gonna get it semi snug and I'm gonna pull it back I'm gonna set it I do not shoot a peep sight. I uh, hunt late normally, low light conditions, and uh, peep sight's not not part of my uh, hunting specialty for sure. I'm gonna go up with it a little bit. You want that kisser button to go right in the corner of your mouth. nose on the string okay good to go I'll clamp that down a little bit tighter you don't want it to clamp it super tight but you don't want it to come off of there either so stay tuned and uh, I'll finish setting up my bow and you guys will get to see it all tricked out but from here I'm gonna go back and do some paper tuning and uh, just start getting it shot in and get ready to go Looking forward to hunting this year. Check them out. Check us out. Draves Archery. DravesArchery.com. We'll match or beat any competitor's price. Got any questions? Give us a call. Thanks.